Good morning to all. I welcome you all to this didactic program. Thirukkurlood Naam attending in fact with a noble desire to reach the seat of grace in life by practicing the ethical values of Thiruvalluva. Couplet number 535 Chapter Unforgetfulness This is a story from Panchatantra. Three fishes lived in a small pond. The first fish always escaped from suffering well in advance. The second fish would search for ways to escape from the suffering. The third fish would accept the suffering in the name of fate. All these three fishes lived in the same pond. One day, two fishermen came to the pond and they spoke themselves that as the water level was very low they could come the following day and do fishing the first fish overheard their conversation and so it went fast to the second and third fish and informed about their fishing the following day and warned them to be careful the first fish vacated the pond and went out through a canal the second fish thought that the fishermen were going to come to the pond only the next day and hence there was no need to think about it as of now and hence left the matter without finding a solution the third fish felt it as fate and hence prepared itself ready to face the fishermen next day the two fishermen came to the pond and spread their fish nets both the second and third fish were caught in the net the second fish staged a drama as if it was dead the fisherman saw the motionless second fish and threw it back to the pond as they did not want to take the dead fish home after being thrown into the pond it went and hid itself in a corner the third fish was under serious thought the fisherman took it both the first and second fish escaped from the fisherman's net because they did something to escape from the danger of being caught but the third fish which blamed fate for anything to happen felt very much for not being alert like the other two fishes one who does not want to protect himself by anticipating troubles will regret later for not taking steps to protect himself in advance our saint tamil poet thiruvalluvar explains about this in his thirukural as follows munnura kaavadi ilukiyan tan pilai pinnor irangi vidum i recite நன்றி வணக்கம்